gingers are kind of in right now. You guys are exotic. You kiss your mom on the lips? Not anymore. What was the cutoff? I think Last like year. nine. Once you got off our health insurance plan, I stopped kissing my mom on the lips. I thought certain things were like flirty when they weren't. Like in high school, I showed this guy two girls in one cup. The word no doesn't exist for a hot girl. Let's end this argument right here, right now. What? What? Do women do work to their faces because they want to improve themselves or because they want to be looked at? You don't think that they would just adopt him as a Nazi because he's good looking, he looked good in the Hugo Boss outfit? Now stop, Schmidt! Guys, welcome back to Ugly on the Inside. We're we, back in LA. Yes, and we have a special guest, Tori Piskin. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was going to ask you. Why did you say my last name so weird? <laughs> Piskin is a uh, uh, penis in Russian. <laughs> so, oh, no one ever I said that I thought I was meant to be a man. <laughs> no, no one ever... because most people don't know Piskin. Yeah, but you're from New York area. Yeah. So you don't know enough Russians that are like, ha ha, what's up, Piskin? No. <laughs> That's what That's I would have called you. I would have fucked around with you like that. Really? Honestly. That's the yeah. only way I'm going to. People used to call me piss. Oh, that's fucked up. When I, I was like, this like is way sick. worse. I would have been like, I'd rather be the dick than the piss. <laughs> yeah, See, no. See, Peaskin is cute. It's like yeah. Peaskin. Yeah, and it's like, oh, she's a tiny little yeah. dick. Yeah, yeah Peaskin. You know? like, yeah, it's like a little chode. Micro I have a Peaskin. Oh, I have do? a Peaskin. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You got I'm one of these? I'm straight up Peaskin. Yeah. <laughs> He's I buried in the son, same amount of hair. If I have a son that has a small pen, penis, penis, I'll be like, "You're a pea skin, dude. You should." Is that, just is there, like, mommy, you're a pea skin. That's yeah. your pea skin. Uh, that's a great way to start this off. A little penis joke. Tori Piskin, right? Piskin. 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 <laughs> okay. Have you Not, ever thought about changing it or no? Changing it to what? I don't know. No, I feel like Piskin is such a good like comedy stage name. I like it. You know what I mean? Like Tori Piskin, like she sounds like nutty. I don't know. Are you? Yeah. What do you think? You have red hair. I feel like most people. I can't trust you. Yeah. You, my mom's sister had red hair. Couldn't trust her either. Where is she now? Dead. Oh, so I'm sorry. Yeah, so it's fucked up. Oh. Uh, we only found out a little while ago. Jesus. It's got dark. <laughs> How'd she die? Um, I, it's just uh, illness. Oh. oh. That's all after uh, the segment. Give it a, at least like a minute before. You we said start. you don't trust her. No, I know, but how do you just, know she's not secretly? I was joking, but now somewhere. I take it back. Oh, oh okay. Geez. Okay, well, before the death, she was a little nutty. <laughs> right. Yeah, most redheads. You kind of look like her a little bit. I do. Yeah. No, in a good way. I'm your aunt. No, Give me you a kiss. Yeah, I feel like you're really trying to. Well, yeah, she didn't sound like a you know Jewish Jersey uh, mob wife, but she you know <laughs> she was close to it. But Ukrainian. She, she lived in really America. Sad, she lived in Ukraine. Did she move it over or no? She make it to America. No, she was in Ukraine. She lived in Ukraine. She died in the war. Uh, no, she didn't die in the war. She war. died five There's years a war before. Right now. Oh, Ukraine. Right. What are you? Right. Oh, fuck. I love that. Wow, way that to far show away privilege. She's like, what war? <laughs> it's okay. Listen to our peacekin. <laughs> I'm just a peacekin. <laughs> what do I know? Yeah, if you did the fucking Wendy's, yeah. uh, the two little hair, the... There you go. The way you just did it. There you go. People always think I look that, like... You look... That, there's nutty. Tori Piskin. Yeah. That's <laughs> like the girl from Wedding Crashers, right? She's yeah, like, I'll like, find yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. She's like, I'll find you. Yeah. I definitely was that crazy during when I was like dating. Are you a crazy girlfriend or were you a crazy girlfriend? No, I'm not a crazy girlfriend. Like in my early 20s, I would do this thing where I would go on a lot of dates with guys and I wouldn't sleep with them. But then I would give them hand jobs. And I thought <laughs> in my head, I was like, well, if I give them a hand job, they're like going to come back. Because like, they're going to be like, oh, like she was so cool. And she was like, she gave me a little something. But then I didn't realize guys didn't like hand But that was like cool in high school, but you're doing no, that. No, I was doing it as like 25. <laughs> no, no, none of them came back. Yeah, because you're going to give me a worse hand job than I could give myself. Right. Right. I know your my rhythm dick. is not the same, better than I know my dick better my than my you. personal rhythm. In I, my head, though, it made sense. In my head, I was like, I'm going to tease these guys with a right. killer hand job. No. And then none of them came back. You got to give a guy something he can't give himself, like head. Right. Like if I could give myself a blowjob, I wouldn't really need a girlfriend. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You sound I, very I already touched that. my own dick, right? <laughs> like people don't equate that as being gay. But because not enough men can suck their own dick, it's looked at as weird as if if you could. You know what you but should do? But if we all could suck our own dicks, you'd be blowing yourself just as much as you jerk off. I mean, the comfort levels have to be really great. You put your own dick so in So you know in, L in LA, they have all these like stretch labs you can go to, people stretch you. You should go as a test and be like, I one day want to be so flexible that I can suck my own dick and just see what they say. Yeah. Is it's that gay? I, I mean, I don't know anyone who's done it, but you could be the first one. Yeah, but if you heard somebody suck their own dick. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't think it's gay. I'd just be like, oh, he must be flexible. I was just thinking about this the other day. Why? Do 
lesbians hate men, but gays don't hate women. I don't know. I don't really hang out with a lot of lesbians. But you know what I mean? Like lesbians are like, yeah. fuck guys, I don't need them. I have uh, Yeah, I have a, I have a dildo. Uh, but a gay guy Strap doesn't on. walk around saying like, fuck girls. Like, I, I love guys. This is my theory. When girls weren't out yet as lesbians, guys would be treating them, they'd be like bullying them. So maybe they have like, want to get revenge on So it's on like men. resentment. Yeah, resentment. I don't know. I'm not a lesbian. I don't hang out with a lot of lesbians, but that's my theory. Yeah, lesbians are a tough crowd. Do you hang out with a lot of lesbians? <laughs> I can't, I'm actually, no, I haven't. I actually don't have an argument for what you just brought up. My sister's a lesbian. Okay, do you does know she what hate men? About? No, but my sister got mad at me once. Okay. Because I, t I posted a meme. Okay. And my sister takes everything I post. She loves everything I do. Yeah. So it was like really weird that she took offense to this one thing. And we talked it out really quickly. But I posted something about... Uh, lesbians shouldn't be allowed to use dildos. You've made up your mind. Okay. And she goes, first of all, it's not a choice. I'm like, I know, Alana. I know it's not a choice. There's no making up your mind. You're a lesbian by nature. Right. But then she's like, it's not that we don't like dick. It's we don't like what it's attached to. So she mm -hmm. hates men. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Probably. But you see, what's the <laughs> argument there? Like, why do they you don't hate like men? Their, you don't. They don't like your personalities. Yeah. Like girls, like we'll sometimes we don't like parts of you. Like as a straight female, there are parts about my boyfriend that annoy me, but there are other parts I really like. But girls that are lesbians, they're not interested in the other parts. They can't. They're like, why am I dealing with this shit when I don't like no, that like, shit? Yeah, 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 but you don't see gay guys going, "I hate women." Fuck pussy. Like yeah, because gay like, guys don't feel like they're competing with women. But lesbians are like, oh, I'm just a wish version of go. a man. There you go. Uh, There's the answer. Lesbians like, I'm standing next to the real meat and I'm fucking imitation meat. Right. right? So they're like, don't, I don't want to be around that. But a gay guy's like, I'm not threatened. So the guy's gonna, dick, so I'm going to suck. Napoleon it's not complex. the guy's dick you're going to so suck. So they have in the Napoleon complex. Yeah. Lesbians, lesbians <laughs> and straight men, <laughs> lesbians and straight men share the same woman. Wait, but what? But gay guys lesbians and straight and women can't share the same man. I feel like I need a board right now. A gay guy okay, gay will guy. fuck on, you know, they don't share the same guy. Right. But a straight man yeah. and, Subjective. A, and a lesbian woman could share the same some woman. Gay so they're competing guys, for the same right. pussy. So some maybe gay, they don't want the competition. Some mm. gay guys, though, have sex with women and men, which is true. Well, and then they're just That's bisexual. Bi. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I thought we were talking so they do straight share. gay. Oh, okay. So you're just like, but I think everyone's bi. I think at this point, I if mean, you're straight, you're kind of a, more of a minority. I mean, slow down. Oh. Don't you? Slow Have you ever down. kissed a girl? No. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> tried. He what tried. He tried. I every know. girl has. I, no. He tried I mean, I kissed my in. like mom. You know. No, that's not. But a, that's not a lesbian. You kiss your mom on the lips. Not anymore, but when I was younger. What age? Yeah. What was the cutoff? I think last like year. nine. What did you say? Last, last year. year. <laughs> no, but you Once know. Once I got off her health okay, insurance plan. Okay, did you plan. do this? Okay, this is. What did you say? Once you got off her health insurance plan. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Stop kissing my mom on the lips. <laughs> yeah, that's now great. Now I have to go to my dad. <laughs> like, open up. Um, <laughs> no, but. Oh, yeah, go ahead. No, I was going to say, I feel like I would always kiss my grandpa on the lips and it made me very uncomfortable. Yeah, because it's prickly. Yeah. yeah, but it's also just like strange. Yeah, because there's such an age gap. Did you ever kiss your grandpa on the lips? No. Is Ew. No, no, no. No? Weird. No. Yeah, it's weird. Only like Italian. I think the last time my dad kissed me on the lips is when I first moved to America and I said, don't ever do that again, big dog. You said that to your dad? Pretty much with my energy. But what about <laughs> like, get away from me? But no, with my energy. Uh, no grandparents. You never kissed a grandparent. Silotka mouth, and you kissed me. That's nasty. Don't kiss me with no. silotka mouth. You know what silotka is? No, what is that? It's pickled fucking herring trout. Yeah, it's disgusting. Oh, that's what he kissed. That's, and that's, he like ate it with like, uh, ooh, mashed yeah. potatoes. And he's like, come here. Oh, so you know? that's okay. Yeah. I'm like, don't kiss me. Don't do that. Yeah. It's disgusting. Disgusting. Yeah. And what were you were continuing something? I'm sorry. No, I just say, so your grandparents never kiss you on the lips? My grandpa died when I was very. Are all these deaths. <laughs> when I was, <laughs> what is today? Death. <laughs> Jesus. Death day. <laughs> um, but yeah, my grandpa passed away a little <laughs> early. I don't remember. Maybe he kissed me, licked me. I don't know what he did, but um, I don't remember. And okay. then my grandma kissed me a couple of times. She had a mustache, my grandma. So that's oh. like a grandpa. Yeah. Technically, yeah. She's she was both. both. She's yeah. trans. She was a good lady. She took on the role of both. Grandpa died early. Yeah, I was like six. Oh, okay. Five. What about you? No kiss on the lips from a grandparent? Probably. Yeah. I mean, my parents used to like change me at the beach naked. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's an old immigrant. Like, yeah. I'm sure they did. I have a bunch of pictures. Naked I'm sure on the they beach. fucking did all that shit. Did an uncle ever kiss you? My uncle? Yeah. No. Well, you know. There's degrees of family members that get weird, right? Yeah. Parents are okay. Grandparents weird. Is uncle weirder than grandparent? I've never had a weird grand uncle. I've only been like pretty normal. What's uncles. your like background? Like what do you, you're like very well, American. I'm Jewish. American? American Jewish. Yeah, we don't, I mean, my, I think my great, great people are like Russian Polish. Right. I can see European. Not the Polish. Sure. Really? Russian. I'm Russian. You're Russian? Yes. 
What's the? I never understand. Like people are. I'm Two always different like, countries. Well, the best. <laughs> no. <laughs> What's but, the difference? I, you no, know, I mean like geography. People always say like, "Oh, I'm Russian Polish." Like to me, I'm like, I don't know the difference. Like what that really means. Like for me, is like who I am. One person was Russian. The other person's no. Polish. I know, but I want to know Russian what Polish. qualities are me of a Russian or a Polish person. Uh, you know when you say dumb shit. Yeah. You're Polish. Okay. I thought that was That's just- it. Everything else great about you is all Russian. Shit, you're Russian. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So anytime my boyfriend's like, don't yell at me. I'm like, it's my Russian side. What do you want? Yeah, yeah exactly. Oh, yeah. I'm going to start using that. But the best is people used to think I'm Irish. And I was like really excited about it because right. of my red hair. And one time I was with my mom and someone, we lived in New York, we lived in New York City. And someone in the building was like, oh, you're Irish? And I was like, yeah. And my mom looks at me and she goes, you're not Irish. You're just a Russian Polish Jew, just like the rest of us. Oh, mm -hmm. I, and I was like. It's crazy. Her, her mom is very similar to her. They look very alike. Like the same. But she's had just like a little. A little work? A little work done. Is your mom in the streets or is she married? She's married. Okay. 40 years. That's dope that she's still improving herself for her man. No, definitely not. That's Why? for herself. Yeah, but at least the man benefits, right? Because he's like, oh, I got a new girlfriend now. Let's end this argument right here, right now. What? what? Do women do work to their faces because they want to improve themselves or because they want to be looked at in yeah, are you fighting? Abundance. Are you fighting society? Yeah. Or are you doing it for yourself? If a woman, I'm not doing it for other girls. I'm doing it for myself, but for other people to compliment me. Right. Right. But yeah. Thank you for that. So honesty. I'm not really doing it for myself. But a lot of women say, oh, "This is for myself. I don't do no. this for anyone else." I have to say, when I got my lips done like three years ago, I haven't gotten it done since. I mean, my lips are pretty small, but they used yeah, to be. Yeah, I was going to say. They used to. Okay, geez, I'll get to a new doctor. Look, you see these? You should go to my doctor. Yeah, your lips are so tiny. I'll lend you some. <laughs> you literally got Yeah, she's like, I got my lips, lips done. I'm like. No, like, okay, they dissolve, but they were a little bigger. <laughs> they were a little bigger when I got them done. And I felt so hot. And then all my guy friends in comedy were like, you look different. And I basically was like, oh, yeah, I got my lips done. They're like, oh, I thought you just looked hotter. So, like, it was kind of cool. I was like, oh. Uh. It felt good. Even though I didn't want to fuck that guy, I was like, oh, it felt yeah, being good. Being complimented is great. I was like, yeah. I hate girls that are like, oh, I got my tits done for me. And yeah. I'm just like, no, you got them done for us. You get like a nice mattress for you, right? Like right. something that I can enjoy is for you. But the minute you put it on, yeah, it's like she's for all of looking us. at herself in the mirror being like, oh my God, my tits look so good. And then, of course, she's like, everyone's going to love them. Yeah, she's going out to wear an outfit, not for herself to look at in every mirror. Yes, yeah, she is doing that too. But to also like have a guy be like, okay, he's going to look. It's not like something you go out to do. You're not like, okay, this outfit's going to attract all these guys. You're just like, oh, I look fucking hot. And then well, you know. Women are also very weird because they'll like do that. Yeah. And then if guys at the gym stare at them or random dudes that they don't want looking at them, yeah. like, oh my God, you're so disgusting. Yeah, I do that all the time. Yeah, I mean, the difference between someone that's a creep and someone that's hot is uh, not a creep is based on how hot they are. You know how right? many like, guys have done stuff that I'm, if he was ugly, I would have been like, he's so mean, he's so gross. But because he was like hot, I like let him get away with it. Yeah, thank you for the honesty. Yeah, yeah appreciate seriously. you sharing. I mean, how many ugly girls do you do favors for versus hot girls? Exactly. The word no doesn't exist for a hot girl. Yeah, I guess. Like, have you done charity recently? Have you helped a ugly girl out? <laughs> Not really. I, I give money to like people that stand on the side of the road. No, but those are those are homeless. There's a difference. What no, about just what, what is working. ugly charity? What do you got to fuck them? No, yeah. What's the charity? You yeah, compliment ugly charity. them? I've never done that. You compliment? I've I, never done that. Every girl that's fucked me, I'm their charity. <laughs> That's well, like are they giving you charity? Or no, yeah. I just, I just oh. made yeah, this up. But I'm saying, have you guys done, ever done charity? Okay, yeah. how about your friend? You go out and your friend is hooking up with someone and then there's the ugly girl, the friend, of, and you go like, oh, fuck, I got to fuck when her because my younger, friend. got to be the wingman? Yeah, the wingman. Yeah, but I've Any never guy. done, I've, I've always had the conversation and would just entertain. But I I think when I was younger, I've done it one time where I did a kiss and I was like, ooh, I wouldn't do, you can't do that. Can't. Yeah. I would just like one small kiss and I was like, ooh. Whenever my friends went out in college, not always, like one time, my friend always got the hottest guy and I would always end up with the friend that was like autistic. He was always autistic. He was like, I don't know if he was friends with the hot guy or it was his, like his cousin he like had to take out for the weekend. Right. But I always ended up having to kind of like. But did you kiss or like, you would take it further? Uh, or? I would I would just sit there and I would flirt when I would be like, he's so awkward. And then I would just see my friend with the hot guy and I'd be like, fuck her. Because I feel like I didn't really get hot until I was like late 20s. So I feel like now I need to like, you know what I mean? I feel like yeah. I developed later because I used to have really short hair like this. Gingers have a later blooming cycle. Yeah. 
like Julianne Moore. Yeah, you yeah. guys boom. Later. You guys are like late bloomers. Yeah, that's but why also I look young though. Gingers are kind of in right now. Like we're in. I feel like it's like you guys are exotic. We're, yeah, exactly. Right. No, you, you guys got to take care of you, keep you indoors. You guys are rare <laughs> Pokemon. I'm surprised you live in L.A. Yeah, no, with I this don't. Much sun. I don't go outside. You guys are like the Charizards. The what? The Charizard? Charizards. You know the what Charizard? the hell? The Charizard. It's a Pokemon card. It's like very. Rare. I know. Sorry, I don't know Pokemon. Yeah, oh. sorry. We have sex. Were you the this. autistic like, friend that whatever. I flirted with? <laughs> whatever. It's, it's, Do you want to discuss my Pokemon cards? You're it's like, a geek Jesus. compliment. Sorry, guys. When you used to go out yes. as a young chick, I've always wondered. Okay. Do you go out for the sake of, I want to go out and have a good time? Or is a lot of it like, I'm going to go out and I'm going to try to get late tonight? No, I would always go out to try to get laid. Because I don't really like drinking. I don't like doing drugs. Like for me, dating was like my high. That was like the thing I went out for. Right. So I would like always go out to like be like, oh, this guy. And one time I, I would have this one dress I would wear. Like this was before I was 21. So I had my sister's fake ID and I was living in the city. So I would go to like all the clubs in the meat packing. And I just thought it was so cool. Do you have a cool. photo of that outfit? Yeah. Was it like a little slutty little Honestly, number? it wasn't even really that slutty. It was like short. It was like Hasidic or like, it was like a Hasidic <laughs> outfit. Like how was it? How was it? She's was wearing it? a beekeeper outfit. <laughs> it was. Here's Jason Statham out there. Here's the thing. It Protect wasn't. The <laughs> it wasn't anything like a me. It was just short, and then I wore these big heels, and then I think I just. It was very like Sarah Jessica Parker. Mm, like okay. it was you like little, you know what I mean, like skinny and then like short, and then I had this big hair, and I just felt like really hot in this outfit. Actually, one time I went to the Jane Hotel. Do you guys remember that club? Right. I, it used to be really pop. I loved it. The the downstairs party in the and main the, ballroom. Yeah, yeah. I but think I missed to, that. It used to be really cool, like, yeah. I don't know, t 10 years ago. Now it's still okay. Sorry, do you go there? No, I just oh. used to, the rooms are the best part of the whole building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I used to go, whatever, pre-ID, <laughs> like 21, no, 20. And I met this guy and I met this French guy and I was like, I was wearing this dress and I was like, oh my God, I feel so hot. And we're making out. And he's like, come back to my apartment. Like, oh no, my hotel, come back to my hotel. And I'm like, no. In my head, I'm like, I'm gonna give you a hand job. <laughs> and I'm like, no, This guy's I can't. putting in work at a nightclub and thinking he's getting laid. And, uh, and I was like, no, no, he was visiting. And then he's like, if you're ever in, he lived in London. He goes, if you're ever in London, he has my business card. And I was like, okay. So then that year I went to London for spring break in college, I had his card and I was like on the elliptical feeling really high from the endorphins. And I was like, I'm just going to message him or like I emailed him because this is like 2012. So I emailed him. Hi, remember me from the Jane Hotel? I'm coming to London these dates. Would love to see you. Obviously never heard anything from him. My best friend, we go to London. She takes me to this club called Publix, which was like a very popular club in London at the time. I get there. Who do I see? This guy. And I'm, by the way, what dress am I wearing? Same dress. The same dress. Oh my God. Did you come God. up to him? Did you come up to him? <laughs> I turned to my friend Doria and I was like, oh my God. Do you, remember I told you about that really hot guy I emailed that didn't email me back? He's here. And I was like, don't say anything. Of course you tell a girl, don't say anything. Don't look. She's like, oh my God, is it him? <laughs> and she goes up to him. She's like, hi, my friend knows you from the Jane Hotel. You guys met. She emailed you, but like you didn't email her back, Tori. Uh -uh. So then I go, he <laughs> met another girl. He probably thinks I'm nuts. Because, because he's like the same dress on. Same dress. I didn't know he was going to be at the club. I told her, give me the hand job. <laughs> I just wanted to give you a hand. Yeah, I'm a piss did he say? In uh, did he say in French, I don't know who you are? Can you do the <laughs> accent? He's like, ah, mm, hey, who are you? Uh, I was me? very drunk. Uh, you know. yeah, I don't remember. But yeah, that was definitely... So maybe it was my, was it my yeah, lucky good dress? Yeah, Jackson, honestly, it's great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but isn't that, that's a crazy story. Not like crazy, like, oh my no, God, I did drugs. No, but that's creepy because you had the same dress on. Same and I'm dress. I'm like, yo, this didn't... bitch is crazy. Right. Like, she and came then, out and here. Then I also emailed him. He never emailed me back. Yeah, and you... then I just found him accidentally. He says, he emailed yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> flew, across across the, the, flew across the Atlantic <laughs> to do an IOU hand job. Yeah. I probably <laughs> left, walked away, and he probably took to the girl. He's like, that girl is crazy. I met her in New York City, and she was wearing this dress, this ugly dress. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like the color poo. The stupid American followed me. Oh, my yeah. God. But yeah, I would just go out looking for guys. I would go to, like, the standard. Just a jerk off. Did just you need a out. did you need a home to do it in or would you ever do it in their car? You would get off on making out. Yeah, you do, do look like you, you uh, would you're have the thrill. worst. 
You're the yeah. worst kind of girl in a nightclub where you're like, oh, this bitch made me fucking waste three hours of hope. making out with her. I had hope that I would be like in relationships with these people. I was. You're uh, a hopeless you saw your whole life with the French man? What? Your whole life. You're like, I'll, I'll move. And you show up. He's like, what? I feel like my mind until I hit mid 20s, I wasn't like the smartest with date. I thought. The Polish. You were more only Polish. In your yeah, team. exactly. You in, in I thought on your certain Polish things side. were like flirty when they weren't. Like in high school. Right. I showed this guy two girls in one cup. You I, did. Yeah, because I thought it would be hot. I thought it was me trying to like show him I'm cool. And so we, I told him, I was like, have you heard? We were like at a party. I was like, have you heard of Two Girls in One Cup? And he's like, no, I haven't seen it, but I heard it's gross. I was like, yeah, want to go watch it? And so we like went to go watch it in someone's room. I'm sitting on his lap and the shit, I'll never forget. The shit is coming out of this girl's ass in the cup. And I turned to him and I go, want to make out? <laughs> And he goes, ew. And I was like, he's talking about me? But whatever, I started kissing him. And he just kept kissing me. And he's like, this is so gross. Because again, they're like, shit is coming out the whole time. Yo, you're so psycho. I yeah, love what you. what is that? Yeah, it's so funny. And then, and I leave the, di- like, leave the party. I'm 16. I'm like, oh my God, this guy's going to be my husband. I'm crazy. I'm like, this guy's going to be my husband. Uh, he totally ignores me in school. You're like one of those people that traps their husband in the fucking yeah. basement. And you're like, sit down here and just write, I love you. And yeah, exactly. The your mom's like, this is how I got your dad. I yeah, showed exactly. him the scat video and then we made out and those the rest. I just didn't know. Like in my head, I thought that was sexy. I thought that was like me flirting. Edgy. You were being Edgy. Like, you needed a reason to drag him upstairs. And you were exactly. like, the only way I could do it without looking like a whore is let's go look at these whores. I don't think about the, but that would have made more sense when my head literally was like, I'm showing him I'm naughty. I'm showing him I know stuff. I was like a virgin. I was like, I'm showing him I'm crazy. She kind of reminds me of Esther. He's like, I wish I was, yeah, right my now. girlfriend is like that kind of little autism. You guys, going on. You guys have similar. The- like, all he wanted you to be, he's like, oh, she showed me a video. He was hoping you were going to show him like your tits. Yeah. And you're like, no, 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 we're actually going to watch girls <laughs> fucking drink piss. Yeah, he's like, let's go. And I was like, no, the video's not done. It's still a minute left. He's like, oh, okay. I wonder the conversations you would have with your mom yeah. after the guys wouldn't show back or like with the handies or like they wouldn't return like your call after something like that yeah and you're like ma like I don't get I it fucked up I don't know what I did yeah no I never told anyone like my friends in high school were like I was like I don't understand why he won't call me they literally I was obsessed with him they took me to see that movie he's just not that into you it was in theaters and they were like do you get it do you get it he's just not that into you and I remember being on like 86 and Lex and I was like you don't get it no he doesn't love me because because I'm Jewish and he's Armenian and that's what the problem is <laughs> you would always come up with a reason yeah, exactly <laughs> yeah. and I, I did tell my mom though about him not the two girls in one cup and my mom was like she saw a picture and she goes ah she goes hey, he's got a schnoz he's not even Jewish what are you trying to do with this one doesn't the greatest Jewish joke is uh, a Jewish guy with a boner walks on a wall what does he hurt his nose first. His nose. Nose. Mm. No, I don't understand why the Jewish caricature is evil. Like they always like try to equate it with like, oh, you hate Jews when you draw a Jew with a big nose. But you're like, we have big noses. Right. Like I mean, you have I don't a small know. nose. You have a small nose. No, yeah, no, I, have a I know. Small but nose. predominantly most Jews, it's like, you know, we're the lucky ones. Most black people have big dicks, right? Like, why is that? An okay stereotype. That's a good stereotype. Why is a big nose a Back bad in the thing? day, I think it was just something to point at and be like, look, you, you're different. You have a bigger nose. Yeah. Fuck it's you. an easy way to identify. Yeah, it's like, you're, yeah. you're, you're ugly. Big nose. You know, like, yeah. we'd sneak like, under the radar. That's, yeah, that's what it, During the Holocaust, we'd be all right. During the, yeah. I'd be like, oh, I'm a, whatever you guys want me to be. No, you look more, you. yeah, you would definitely go for more Polish for power. Like, yeah, but they would have thrown us both. I'm, probably mostly gay and they probably would think you're a gypsy. Yeah, So exactly. we would both be in the Holocaust. What about me? I'd you're pretty, you kind of look like Hitler Youth. The- you look like Hitler Youth. I'm you Hitler look, Youth? Yeah, because you got the comb over, you got the blue eyes, like you look Maybe like- Maybe they would have kept you like as- A poster. They'd be like, yeah, look poster. how great looking Nazis are, right? No, no, he wouldn't be a no, how great looking we treat them in the camps. No, no, no. You don't think that they would just adopt him as a Nazi because he's good looking, he looked good in the Hugo Boss outfit, right? Like why, why, <laughs> why, why make him- <laughs> Hugo Boss outfit. Now right? stand straight. Uh, Hello. Sounds yeah. right. Sounds fine. <laughs> really? That's fucked up. Yeah. I don't like that. Um, I'd rather go for Jamaican. <sighs> Jamaican? Do you yeah. want to be Jamaican? I feel like I got a little Jamaican in me. <laughs> this is what I mean. I'm plenty wine, plenty gal, you know? No. I went a whole year <laughs> once trying to <laughs> refine no. my Jamaican accent. Oh, my God. Man's never been to Marquee when it's shut down, eh? Trust me, daddy. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know? Two Jamaicans love Marquee? I, no, it's just like one of these funny videos that Drake had. Oh. And he loves to do his a, a Jamaican accent. I think he's just one of the funniest videos. Um, he's like by the pool and he's just trying to do his Jamaican voice. Oh. You know? Me don't really want a nice gal pointy wine on me. Right? Brethren? I have no idea what I mean. <laughs> well, the like, are like, what the fuck's going on? You guys don't like that? No, I've I mean, never seen it's the like, it's almost as like someone doing a Borat voice. You're like, okay, like we get it. You could do one I accent. I actually just finished watching Borat. It's such a cultural phenomenon. Oh, it's like, insane. Ugh, it was a pivotal moment. Why is it so good? I remember the theaters were slammed for almost three months straight. Really? And I remember we had to like, we couldn't wait. And we just basically had to sneak into the movie theater and sit on the steps of the movie theater. Wow. Like it, while people were sitting in seats watching this movie. Anytime something is made for us when we were younger, it was exciting because most movies are supposed to be highbrow. Right. right. So anytime like when Ali G started dropping, like you're like, this went to theaters. You're like, I got to go. Like, this is insane. It's like when I went to see something about Mary for the first time oh. as a kid, I was like, I got to go every week. This is I can't believe they put this on a big screen. Right. Like fucking Ben Stiller's Cameron Diaz is jizz in her hair. <laughs> right. right. So when you saw Borat, you're like, this is so rare that someone makes something for us. Because right. usually they'll make like Napoleon or like Oppenheimer or whatever. You're like, all right, like I get it. This is art. But weren't art. movies so much better when we were growing up? So much better. So much funny. Sh White chicks. The best. Co Everything. Okay, sorry, Cohen has a stupid, but like just funny. Yeah. I feel like now all these movies. Silly. Silly. Like actually, like this is making me laugh. Now I feel like silly movies or people that are like comedy. It's not. It's like dry. There's no like, I want like slapstick. Someone fall. But the, Someone make yeah. me laugh and fucking fall. I want fall. a fat person to fall down the exactly. of stairs. And another thing is that I pisses me off. Even the comics, the ones that do have the immunity to make funny movies. Yeah. They still choose to promote the woke or, or like have some kind of woke thing in there. Whether like they're who? making slightly making fun of it or they're kind of like bringing it into the, the, the you know what I mean? Like yeah, they no don't like, fully do it. They will be like, I'm woke and now that's why yeah. I can make this joke. They but it's like, don't toe. even say that. Like Sebastian Maniscalco, love yeah. him to death, but he still had to kind of like, even though it's relatable because it's his girl is kind of where the liberal. Movie? Are you talking about the movie? Or yeah, are you talking the about movie. I didn't watch the movie. It was I, funny. Well, my whole thing with the, the problem, uh, I will, my only argument to that is, is Kevin Smith kind of talks about, not that, but uh, he, it, a, a movie is a collaboration and it's, you know, you're getting money from so many sources, yeah. so many people working on it yeah, that they're going to bastardize right. your, the thing, unless you go do it yourself. There's too many people with their fingers, you know, marketing departments, Warner Brothers being like, yeah. well, we don't like that. Edit that out because we need this movie to make 300 million and not get an R rating. Right. So then why do you think Borat, they, they let him do whatever he wanted? Because back in the day, there wasn't, wasn't as many restrictions socially. He was right. so he was proven. He he had a track record. And he had a show. Before he had a track that. record. Borat already had a following. Ali, uh, Ali had, had a was following. Prior, yeah. And right. he came over from over there. So I feel like it's kind of, I don't know. But even Borat, the second one, he had to go liberal. He had to do things like to prove something. He had to yeah. like bring the Republicans and make fun. He had like so many things that before it was kind of like just genuine and innocent. Yeah. It was like, yo, let's just be funny with everyone. Now it's kind of like, I need to prove something. Well, you well, know, it's not the same. It's harder always to follow everything up because your first thing is so pure. Right. Right. Uh, Travis Barker said it about him being a musician. He's like, making your first album is the easiest because you have your whole life to look back on and right. make your first album. The second album is the hardest thing because you're like, what am I going to talk Especially about? Especially for him. What is he going to talk about living right? with Courtney? Right. <laughs> so, then, what struggles does he have? So Borat 2 is less genuine and more like, okay, he has an agenda now. Right. Versus Borat 1 was just Sasha Baron Cohen. You're just like, it was like jackass. He was a genius. He's a genius. Yeah. For those and a great yeah. writer. Seth Rogen was a writer. Insane writer. Insane writer. I mean, yo, honestly, I watched Ted just now, the show. Ted, I heard it's great. Ted it's Lasso? very funny. No, it's Ted, like the bear. Yeah, the, the Seth MacFarlane made a TV show of Ted and okay. it's crushing. Very good. It's on Peacock, right? Yes. It's not on TV. It's okay. on the streaming thing. It's very good because it embodies like a family from Boston. Okay. And he kind of still, like he said, has a family a family guy vibe. Yeah. But it's like perfect humor where it's not too crazy and it's also not too soft. So he's just like right in that perfect middle. And it's huh. it's a good flow to it. It's nice. Right. Feels like, I feel like I'm back in the day watching something funny. Something actually. funny. Yeah, Seth MacFarlane is one of the most talented people on the planet. Yeah, he's My he's stupid insane. watch keeps going on. Yeah, he's a Mickey is Mouse watch. Is that your watch? watch? Yeah, I have a little Mickey Mouse Why watch. Why do you have a Mickey Mouse watch? That's cute. I'm a <laughs> uh, that's weird. <laughs> because Try Apple only gives you like 30 different watch faces, and this is the cutest one. That's a cute one, yeah. Yeah.
You would date a guy with a Mickey Mouse watch? If he was like working at CVS and had that watch, no. But, you know, if a guy's successful and he has that watch, it's like, okay, cool. But if he worked at CVS and had a Rolex, what about that? I would be like, that's a fake. Or you'd be but like, his, his, his money is in the his priorities are fucked, right? Like you live at home, but you have a Rolex. You're like, okay, you can get me, you can pull me at the club, but you can't take me home. I just, I, mean, I can't imagine guy at working at CVS, not to be mean, but I can't imagine guy working at CVS as a Rolex. But what if he worked at CVS, had a Rolex, didn't live with his parents? You would question it? Yes. Why would, would you work at CVS? Yes, with I a, feel like this is a barista you can get away with. Oh, barista, so your Polish mouth is not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> barista would be like, okay, cool. He's being a barista. Maybe he's getting inspo. What? Starbucks? No, I don't know. No, but being a barista, I feel like is a cooler job than working at CVS. I think CVS. they're doing like research on like, oh, I'm just a psychology. Or something. Yeah, I'm something just, undercover. But CVS, you're, it's like. You know what I noticed about Americans? <laughs> that Rolex is from another life. You know what I noticed the difference between Europeans and Americans? Americans care about status of a job. Like I know people that would be like, oh, he's a speech pathologist and he makes like 70,000 a year. Yeah. And we can barely support him. And then people will be like a bartender that's making 200,000 a year. And he's like, but he's a speech pathologist. So I'm like, what? I'm like the guy that's making 200,000 has way more access and resources to things than right. somebody that's making 70. But just for the status of it, people I are think like, people just It's an American thing though. Because American? It, well, it's a yeah. pri it's a pride thing, right? Like yeah. most people no matter how much money they can make in a job would be embarrassed if the job, you know, like a garbage man. I'm sure they're proud, but I'm sure there's people who no, are don't like don't they make a lot of money? They yeah. make a lot of plumbers money, but I'm sure someone's Plumbers make a lot of money, money like, too. I mean, right. plumbers make half a million if they own their own side business as well. So it's like, right. so it's like if the person could provide a great life, like right. what Right, but then right, you date a guy that's like a copywriter that makes like 80 grand a year. And then he can't take you out to a, like a dinner. <laughs> right, <laughs> you know what I mean? but so you're like, like, I'm not going for a garbage guy. It's just so weird. It's just a weird concept because in Russia, it's like, we don't care if you're shoveling fucking cherries or cleaning up the front yard of somebody's house, but if you're making half a million, Go ahead. I right. think because in Russia, it's more about survival and America is more about uh, attaining like more than just life, right? Like I imagine when my parents were in Russia and the conditions they were raised in, it was more survival, right? Finding, making sure there's food on the table, making sure they had heat, making sure everyone was healthy. It was more about just maintaining life. Right. And Americans have the luxury to be aspirational, being like, I want to go on this vacation. I want to buy that nice car. So the status starts playing more. Right. Because you're like, I'm doing better than him. But, now, but in Russia, we're all kind of in the trenches. Right. But now look at it like this. Hasidic Jews in New York, right? Right. Okay. Awful. They'll be walking around. Ketchup, <laughs> what about these Hasids? Ketchup, ketchup chips all over their fingers. Wait, Sometimes wait. earwax falling out of their yeah. ear. They're not really taking care of themselves. Some of them, right? Not all of them. But I'm saying yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. And they walk into the bank, but they got 10. 10 lemons they're in doing, the bank. They're yeah, doing you know well. What I mean? So what? But they're I'm saying, but you don't know what they're just hustling, doing a bunch of shit. Yeah, they might live in a shit house too, but they have the, so much in the, the bank. But I'm just saying <laughs> that it just comes, I guess, it's just weird how America just looks at you know who that, I think is a really capitalist hot? Capitalist society. We all want something that as someone else. I'd has. rather be the guy that's in dirty pants and dirty shoes that no, has not. ten lemons. No, you don't. Yes. No, you don't. You like dressing nice. You like that you have a Rolex. You like you taking Rolex? your girlfriend out. Uh, you like you like having nice the, things. <laughs> you I'm the, the, the dirtbag. Yeah, rent, the rent the runway. Rent the Rolex. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the dirtbag in the Apple Watch. With in the, the Mickey this Mouse. This is from Amazon. With a million dollar company. Sure, but I'm saying I'm the Hasidic Jew in that situation. Right. Sure. Wait, by the way. Guys that leave Hasidic life, I find it kind of sexy. Because they're virgins. Why? Because they're rebels. <laughs> they're rebels. They're good rebels because you know they were raised by a good family. Right. You know what I mean? Like they're raised by a good. So he has both the streets and the good. Yeah, he like he was something kind of sexy about. Oh, he just left the Hasidic world, I, and like he doesn't have know. Have you anything. dated one that left the, the Hasids? No, I just thought about it. Yeah, I, he's gonna think of you as inferior. They're ingrained since childhood to look at women down on women. Half of them are wait, inbred. What do you mean by that? Hasidic Why Jews. Down on women? Hasidic, uh, uh, oh, you just uh, ruined my fan. I strict, just... strict Has Hasids. Women aren't even allowed to be on the same floor in the synagogue. They have to sit yeah, upstairs. Have to sit. Yeah, they, they tr women are a second class citizen in the Hasidic like world. Oh, so they're like Muslim. Yeah. Yeah. Women are more prop. Why do you think they have to wear? They have to wear wigs. They can't show. Really, I didn't know this. Yeah. Yeah. It's all about. I mean, I know a lot. I know about Shabbat. I know some traditions. Nah, and then they're can't all have inbred sex for two because weeks. the way you keep wealth. Is by keeping it in the, in the family. family, right? So you're it's gonna like, fuck I don't some half a tar. With my cousin, you shall hook up with Ariel. 
<laughs> going to ruin the family. But can I hook up with someone who's maybe my third? No. What was the last job you had before? Are you stand up full time? Yeah, but I also do like make videos and stuff. Right, right. I yeah. I mean, outside of like working Normal on job, your yeah. brand and content creation, because I think at this point, a stand up just being a stand up. You're handicapping yourself yeah, exactly. by trying to be like, I only do this, right? Unless you're like an icon like Dave Attell, right. who's like, I'm not going to participate in the social media world like yeah. that. What was your last job? I used to left? be a video editor at Refinery29. Oh, it's, sick. At like a digital media company. Okay. but It's a big company too. Yeah, it was a good tool to have. What? Right? Good tools to have. No, it made me like a great editor, but it was just kind of annoying because I had to edit for a girl who was a YouTuber. It was just one girl I would edit for like a year and a half. And it was just like infuriating. She was nice. It was more just like, I wanted to be the person in front of the camera. Right. Even was though she, she terrible? was terrible. She wasn't terrible. She was just talking about like putting, like trying coconut oil on her body. You know Making what I mean? Like great money, YouTube money. Oh, I think she was like killing was it. it a, a, the most annoying thing in the world. To it see was so somebody... annoying because I was making way less than she was. Yeah, and you're doing most of the hardest part of the job. And I'm like editing and then like. And she's like. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, she'd be like five days of putting coconut oil on my whole body. And then people would be like, you're so funny in the comments. And I was like, what is comedy? I mean, she wasn't doing comedy. She was just like vlogging more. Yeah, what's, what's good? Yeah, I know. I have. We, we all have those moments where we're kind of looking around and we're like. But actually, is this really happening? the best was when I first started working there, I auditioned for Wilding Out. Do you guys know that MTV yeah. show? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So there was. I auditioned. And then they were like, congratulations, you made it to the next round. We're doing this thing this year where it's a live um, audition. So it's like basically America's next top, ne America's got talent, but for who's the next cast member. So it'd be a live thing in between the episodes. It was like filmed at TRL studios. And I like just started working at this company. And like, obviously I couldn't, I needed the money, but I didn't know how to like tell my boss. So I like, I basically was like, hi. Um, I think I told you I do comedy, but anyway, I have this audition to be on Wilding Out. And trying to kind of like, yeah. Because I needed the day off. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I was like, but it's not like, I still really want to work here. I'm like, I don't want to fucking work here. Basically, long story short, I like almost made it to the, I like it was between me and another girl. It was like each, each day was a competition and blah, blah, blah. And I remember the day before the final round, and this was like all live in front of like live audiences. It's on MTV? Or is it just unfilmed, but for- It's like, on MTV, but like live. Got it. And so I remember looking in the mirror being like, this is it. <laughs> I don't have to get a day job anymore. I'm going to be on MTV. And then basically the other girl completely like beat me in the rap or whatever. And the next day I went from being live at the MTV studios to the next day editing <laughs> a video. A girl <laughs> editing, a, I'm editing a video about a girl putting coconut oil on her body. So- that's that's the sex in the city story. Right that's there. the industry, though. <laughs> that's the you, industry. Let me ask this. is I don't want to make this dark for a second, but I, no, you brought up me. Wild and Out. You brought up New York Comedy. Do you know Jax? Yes. I was really good friends with Jax. Okay, what? I don't know what happened Remember to her Jax? exactly. Remember Jax? So she Jax, was so sweet. Jax was the best. Uh, I'd never know how to pronounce her last name. Deloso, Deloso, whatever. She was like French. Uh, yeah. She, when I met her. She was a stand-up, very pretty. Smoke show when I met her. Like I met her like 10 years ago. Curvy, but like in the perfect way. Like had yeah, a great yeah, body. Yeah, she was thick tan, in the right places. Like beautiful skin, like soft skin. Perfect fake boobs. Oh, were they fake? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, she just had a great body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, she was sweet. a chef, a comic. She partied with me. She was a sweet girl. Like every time I saw her in stand up, she was just. She was cool. She was a nice, nice chick. giving. Yeah. A big compliment to play to her, but she reminded me of the Robin Williams syndrome. Not. The material. She was obviously not nearly as funny as Robin okay. Williams. But uh, the concept of like, she was always happy. But yeah. then very dark, very dark on the inside. And okay. she always got mixed up with like fucked up dudes. And I think what she, I think she overdosed or oh. something happened to her. Yeah. She, I think died alone in her. It was so sad. Oh, so it sad. really fucked up. Yeah. Because I think she was, uh, from what it seemed like, I think she was taking medication that was like antidepressants and all this other stuff. And I think she might have overdosed on either fentanyl or something. Something happened. Oh no, she went missing for a few days. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what happened. Big argument because she got I, from what it seemed like because the Twitter thing showed that she got into a huge argument with her ex boyfriend, and she was kind of not happy with him. He was not happy with her, and something. Well, something. Well, well, I guess this is an easy transition. Maybe this is a dumb thing to say, but if she experienced enough uh, success in the things she pursued. 
do you think that would subside any of the issues, right? I think because so. mental health is so fucking aggressive, especially yeah. in the arts, right? You're in the arts. We're in the arts. It's so having, hard. Having an uphill battle consistently in your artistic career yeah. versus already making it and reaping the rewards. Yeah, that comes with its own set of problems, but the journey is fucking rough. Yeah. Especially as a woman. Luckily, I call my mom and I'm like, uh, some days I'm like so high. I think naturally I'm very like up and down, but I think I picked a career that's so up and down. I'm not medicated or anything, but like my mom is basically my Xanax. I'll be like, I don't know. What am I doing? She's I'm a in, therapist. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, I'm in my thirties. Like I, I am, you thought I'd be more famous. Well, maybe I'll just go get an editing job. And my mom's like, don't be silly. You're going to make it. Look right. at you. You're a star. You're gorgeous. Yeah, you and then I have a Jew in the corner. Yeah, like exactly. And then I'm like, she's right. She's what right. What do your parents do? My mom is a fitness instructor and my wow, dad's a sick. dentist. Oh, okay. Oh, your pops so is you're fine. Dentist. Yeah, well, you're going to be good. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to be good forever, <laughs> but we're okay now. <laughs> I actually feel like I'm trying to like lean in more on my stand up to talking about like growing up, like, like, okay. Does that make sense? When I first started stand up, it was cool to be poor. It was cool to be like, I got to work for Postmates and make $10 an hour and I'm going to be a stand up. Struggle and, is funny. Yeah. And gritty. And, but now comedy is kind of like shifted, I think because of social media, because you're able to post like all your stuff online. But now people I think are gearing, relating more to like, not basic people, just like people that they don't care. They don't want like quirky people as stand ups. They just want like, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Because they want to relate. They, they don't want to necessarily relate to a guy that, that, is just like struggling so bad that they're kind of almost feeling bad for you. Yeah, they comedy would, used to be a place for like yeah, you would talk about love. your struggles. Y yeah. And now yeah. it's not. Now it's like, yes, talk about dating, but they want to like relate to they you. They want to see somebody with a nice watch and a nice jacket on and yeah. some nice shoes. And then they're like, oh shit, this guy is like got his shit together. Well, no, and he's like funny. now girls, like we go up, we dress nice to do stand up. Right. When I started, it was you dress like Sarah Silverman, you wear sweatshirts, you wear like well, now girls you guys, go up in Because women tops. have the uphill battle of trying to fight being sexualized right. right, and having your jokes being taken uh, for their merit and not based on what you look like and sexualizing you. Right. So that's always the uphill battle for women. But also comedy's turned into this fucking thing where your favorite comedians fly private planes now. Right. Right. They wear the Rolex. They're like they the rock stars. They're rock stars. And comedy kind of used to be about just being like this fucking curmudgeon in a microphone in a dark corner. Yeah. Making everybody laugh at how miserable life could be exactly and so, now it's not that anymore yeah it's like when like a gangster rapper no longer is in the hood and now has to rap about shit the hood. that's like right you're like bro you're yeah. so far away from that now. but i feel like it used to be for like the weird the quirky the people that were like the outcasts in school and but now it's not but there's still there's so there's much money in lane, comedy there's, yeah there's still that lane though there's yeah, still the, that lane where people are like oh shit like people Laugh at my pain is a true thing, right? It's like laugh and shit that sucks that most people don't talk about. So people are going to want to hear that anyway, right? Even in New York, apparently, there's girls that are starting stand-up that, like, I guess aren't not even a few years in. And they have, like, hundreds of thousands of followers just of because they, like, talk well, about it's chlamydia. Of this. It's because of this. So because everyone has a podcast. Right. Um, it's easy to build an audience because we're just having conversation. It's easy to pull clips and make us all look funny. But having to get on stage and own your own material... A lot of people aren't ready for that, but they experience success from this. Right. They pick up 300,000 followers from podcasting. They have an audience. They can now go and fill out a night at the stand. Right. And then half of them eat shit because they're like, yo, your jokes aren't as good as your riffs in convo. And Some people right. are just better talkers. And what sucks is that a lot of comics that were legends and ma major artists that were killing it for 10 years without yeah. technology couldn't adapt. And that's the same thing as, I don't know if you watched the documentary, Mr. Brainwash, he's an artist. No. And he was basically a camera guy that ran around, around and, exit, and followed exit Shepard the... uh, Ferry and she, she, he followed Banksy and he followed all these big artists. Okay. And he was the only one that held the footage for all of them. Wow. And then at one point, the biggest artist, Banksy, he was like, yo, go back and actually put the shit together. Yeah. He put it together. It was horrible. And he's like, you know what? Fuck the footage. Just be an artist. Leave me alone. Wow. Yeah, but so, Banksy regrets saying and that. And then this guy in one year became the big, uh, in worldwide artist that was selling million dollars in art. So wow. then Banksy's like, holy fuck. He's like, bro, I, I fucked up. He's like, yeah. and now to, it's the same thing for comedians. They're like, oh shit, let me just build my following online. Yeah. And then I'll skip the process of doing 10 years of comedy and I'll just go right into it. No, there's so many stand-ups. I was just talking to my friend, Katie Boyle. She's in New York and we were, she's 
has like over a hundred, like 130,000 on Instagram. But you know, she actually really encouraged me. She's like, you got to start posting your stand up clips because I didn't want to post it at first. But then once I started, like really has helped my social. Yeah, they look, they look, they were, they're crushing it. Well, it's a good, most comics there don't want to burn their material, right? Yeah, but now it's just a different mindset. But we were just talking on the phone. She was like, I was like, there's so many funny comics that like, I'm like, oh yeah, whatever happened to that person? She's like, they're still doing it in New York. I'm like, but why aren't they posting clips? And she's like, I don't know. They don't want to take, you know, they don't like, people just don't want to post clips. So I feel like it, the social media game as a standup, you have to know how to do the clips. You have to know how to do the clips right in order to be seen. So it's like not even like who's the funniest anymore. Yeah, it's I, who's savvy against yeah. the yeah. algorithm. I, yeah. know the per I know a Persian guy here. Uh, I don't know. I believe he's Persian. He has long hair. Okay. He's like funny. He has, he, it's like great. He, I forgot his name. He has gray streaks with black hair. He wear, always wears a hat. Does a very good impression of a Mexican guy. Okay. He's like very funny. He's a, he runs around all these clubs. Yo, I came to watch him like six months ago. Yeah. He had 7,000 followers. You wow. know how much followers he has now after he went in on the clips? 400,000. Wow. Now, he's now he just did a, he covered with Theo Vaughn. Wow. You know what I mean? So now like the leverage of that. Yeah. Instantly like, see you later. I'm out of here. Yeah. It's you crazy. Know? It's over. So you're, it's a little addicting. Are you guys addicted to social? Like seeing your numbers? No. I, I mean, mm. I've been doing this so long and been kicked. I'm so over social media. I'm annoyed at social media. I'll be honest with you. Why? Like, it's like, I have a bad relationship with it. It's basically, here's my problem <laughs> with social media. I just don't see media. the reward of it. Like, is, it just pisses me off. Imagine every day you went to play, you're an athlete, and every day they change the rules on you. Right. Imagine today we're playing basketball with these rules. Tomorrow we're playing with this rules. Tomorrow the basket's going to be this short. To the next day it's going to be 40 feet in that direction. Yeah. It should not be like and that. And Instagram is like, the minute I develop a little bit of rhythm, it's like, oh, we you're shadow banned. Yeah, this gets flagged. Yeah. And you're just like, dude, this is the only place on earth where you are truly censored for just existing. Right. It's annoying. Which is kind of absurd. Because in the beginning when I first started social. I bitch about it on every episode. But, you know. <laughs> like, what did you say? Not, I not said every, I bitch about it on every episode. Every. Oh, you bitch about I it. I just I'm think just, it's annoying because no, yeah, it was I, more genuine before. Well, was, because our worth to the world is attached to that. Right. That, yeah. also, our finances, like yeah. your rent, your well-being, your mental health are all wrapped up in, 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 and you know what someone said? They're like, we went from a society who used to make content for people to make content for an algorithm. Yeah. Because now we're trying, we're, I'm just trying to see if I can thread that needle. I don't even care if an audience likes it as long as Instagram likes it. That's, yeah, that's which is fucked up though. Yeah. yeah. You should make it for- How many of some of your favorite jokes flopped in a video probably where you're like, God damn it. Well, some of my favorite, one, one video I made, it was called Girl Who's Having a Mental Breakdown in Palm Springs. And I just made a whole video and it was very like artsy. And it was just this girl who's having a mental breakdown. It was funny, like care right. voiceover character of this girl. And it like didn't even do that well. But I was like one of my favorite videos I shot and I edited because it felt a little more artsy. You know what I mean? Right. And it felt like you crushed and that's the edit. Where... Yeah. I was like, the people that get it will get it. No, one for me, the, one for them. Right. But the people that <laughs> people will get it if they were presented it. You don't know if the people who didn't even get to see it properly. Yeah. Right? Like it just could have been suppressed. I would just want to deliver it to my audience and have them tell me it sucks, not have Instagram dictate it sucks. And by the way, like, so since my social has gone up, since I started posting stand up clips like the past six months, every video I made last year didn't do like would get like 10,000. Like these character videos I make of like, oh, your friend who lives in Silver Lake type of shit. Right. I reposted it. It gets like 300,000. So I'm like, OK, well, that's cool now that people are actually seeing something I know did well. Right. Or I know like was well produced. But it's just annoying. It is annoying. It's annoying because it adds a layer to the craft of most artists are they, they don't want to deal with this shit. That was the whole point of us pursuing art. Right. It's like I don't want to be bogged down in the business end of art. Yeah, most artists don't want to be ha have to fucking manage their. You art, just want to you know? be funny. And also, by the way, when you used to hit like a million a video, it would be like, oh my god. Like my mom's so supportive. She'd be like, your video, I hit a million. You got another video that hit a million. And it's like, it does it feel good? Like kind of, but it, like I'm not getting a call yeah, from like, I'm different. not getting a call from Hollywood. We think you're fabulous. We've seen four videos. It's like, no, you just have to keep going, which like kind of sucks, right? But you see what we're just talking about right now, but then the girl with coconut oil is making mad money because she's promoting coconut oil. Right. That's the crazy thing, right? So I'll be making videos that people are like, they'll notice me in Canada or fucking Paris or anywhere. They'll be like, yo, I watch your videos. But the, but if guys that are making videos promoting scales on fucking on TikTok yeah. and selling it for Amazon 
are making twenty thousand a month. People, you know what I mean? So it's right, like, but you, you, if you are an artist, then you go at, look at that and you get annoyed. But you go, you know what? I'm actually doing something of value. I'm, I'm, I'm adding to this. Yeah, world and then so I, AI duplicates it and makes it better. Yeah. But that's why also like girls. <laughs> so what about that one? Does that fucking make you feel better or no? <laughs> I was gonna say that girls on social that have like huge followings, not be okay. Yes, you have the girls that are hot, but then you have these girls. I don't know if you follow them. They're very basic. They post about their their house, their day, but like not funny, not personal. They have millions of followers. Life in a day. It's a lifestyle. But they're not an artist. Some That's girl what, who what? Like like sleeps with her cow in a field and you're just like, yeah, I want that. No, they just go to the coffee shop no. and they just have an edit of them walking to the coffee shop. And yeah, and they have it. like, but I think it's- It's just aesthetic. But that's what annoys me because I'm like, no, this platform's supposed to be for like artists. But more people gravitate to swords. Lifestyle, you know, you know why? Because they can't, other people can't create that in a sense of like, no, not a lot of people can go on stage and do that. So they're like, oh, it's relatable depending on the context of right. the video. But I can't do that. I like the girl that's putting up videos of her in Blue Bottle with like little Chanel and this and that. <laughs> yeah. It becomes kind of a, like a, a magazine almost right. for them. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. That's the problem. So we hate I mean, social. I just grew up with cream rises to the top, right? Like the concept of the most talented people usually manage to crawl their way to the top. Yeah. And it's like the way the world we live in is it's like. Yeah, I guess. Like, you know what I mean? Like, think about it this way. I'm used to changing the channel on commercials. Right. And all social media is now is a commercial. And it just depends who's better at making commercials. Right. When you hit a million plays, you're like, shit, I made a Super Bowl ad. And then when your video does like a thousand views, you're like, oh God, like this is a really crazy awful that, commercial. Someone would have changed crazy the channel. That, right. that curates your vibe for the day though. Like imagine waking up in the morning, you hit a million, you're like, yeah. holy fuck. Like today I got a 12,000 views on my story. Yeah. And it's just like a, a picture of me and my girl and we look good. Don't get me wrong. It's <laughs> nice. But I'm just thinking in my head, I'm like, I'm like, damn, bro, when I'm promoting the pod, I'm like, I'm, I can't crack like six, six K, seven K. Yeah. So that just annoys me. Cause I'm like, bro, what Am is I doing the, something wrong? What is the issue here? You right. Know I mean? do, you, do you get in your head and go like, should I be making more of that? Right. Cause we were talking about this yesterday. Yeah. My girlfriend and I have a really funny relationship. And everyone on the internet, at least in my world, loves it. And anytime we do anything together, it does the most numbers. Okay. And I'm like, should I just be making also wholesome content? Yes. With my girlfriend on a separate page. Answers, they can know yes. me as the dirtbag. They right. can know me as the piece of shit. But am I leaving this lane? You are. That I normally wouldn't want to work on, right? Like my relationship to me is fun because I don't have to always document it. Like right. it's just fun and in the moment. Do you want kids? I want one child. When? When? Yeah. You should do two. One is whack. No, I don't want to. I have think, a one child syndrome. Like, that shit is no good. Trust yeah, me. but I'm fun. I'm like a child. Yeah, but you have two. You have, you have. Yeah, you yeah have, but you grew up with a really like overbearing Jewish mother yeah, but she that has loves a sister to spoil also. a single child. I have a sister. Oh, you grew up alone? No, then with what, a sister. So are you guys are you all redheads? I don't even understand your argument. You're fine? No, no. I want one child because I'm worried that two is just going to be like a lot. And also, I don't know. It's, it's, it's the hope, the carrying a baby. I, my, some of my friends have had babies, and the, like the horror stories. Like it sounds like it's not easy. Then you also, got surgery. That's also, a lot do of you shit. view? I that? can't even get my eyebrow sometimes done. It hurts. Like you think <laughs> I'm gonna have a baby come out? Like I'm scared. Yeah, yeah your asshole gets ripped open. Yeah. And now they're putting Neuralinks into people. What are they putting? I would in? take that all day though. You like would take the, a I would take all the tech in my head. But what happens I if they have a software update? I That's want fine. that. I want to. I want a link in my head. It well, might make me a little update. more stable. Well, don't act like you're a fucking genius without it. Like if a software update bugs you out, you're just gonna go back to being part of that. Like you are. Normal. But what if you lose Wi-Fi? That's okay. You're gonna have to be. That's <laughs> how they're gonna. Like That's, right. That's how they're gonna get you. They're gonna give you the Neuralink for That's free, but charge you the Wi-Fi. You're gonna put a SIM card in there. You gotta pay for it. Monthly. You're gonna be like, ask someone, ask you a question. You're like, sorry, I'm buffering. I have. <laughs> yeah. What if you're like <laughs> looking up something on Google <laughs> through this Neuralink so wait, and it just is glitches? That, what is it exactly? All right, so basically it is... A Google browser in your no, brain? You, technically right now, the first install was for a paraplegic. Like somebody... You know, okay. They can activate their phone and laptop and use... Without touching anything. You can just like... Turn on it's your like TV. you're thinking about it. it's it's you like think about it and turn the TV on and TV so, you think on. About so it doesn't it doesn't restore anything in the body it just lets you communicate and interact with the world better yes oh I thought Neuralink would eventually like bypass nerve endings and then be like Grow all right we hands? can act no but like activate something <laughs> right like like we said well my sister's not only lesbian but she's like deaf so she has a cochlear implant okay and her ears are now ten times better than all of ours right whereas ten years ago she was handicap right yeah now it's almost like an advantage 
because she can hear better. She can adjust her equalizer settings in her brain. It's fucking nuts. Right. I assume Neuralink would just fucking at least be like, oh, this paraplegia guy can now It's walk probably again. like 50 years that's coming. Yeah. So this thing just connects you to elect electric stuff. Yeah, it's like airplay for your brain, right? Exactly. Yeah. You like airdrop, what, music? I mean, that's the Shit. thing, right? right? Imagine airdropping your thoughts. Well, they had that Black Mirror episode. Right. And imagine your boyfriend is having sex with you and he's thinking about someone else. And then he's playing porn inside your link. Doesn't matter. And Who then cares? I join it. I'm like, hey. You're like, what are you doing, buddy? Like, I told you to stop with the Asian girls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Yeah, I think it might get to that point where you're just going to wear, you can literally, you know how a girl can have a filter in Snapchat yeah. where you can change your face, everything? That's just going to happen to save relationships. I think that could save a lot of relationships. If it's I like can, just, grandma, if I can like, just be fucking my girlfriend, but every night it's a new filter on her head. And you're like, oh shit, okay. Right. I'm banging fucking Mila Kunis right now. <laughs> well, that Black Mirror episode, remember, they could like repeat things I, yeah, in I their hate, path. I hate Black Mirror. I have like- I have anxiety watching that shit. But like, I would do that all the time. That ep If that episode was real, if you could repeat the, your, your fights, imagine if you could repeat your fights with your I do it partner. in the shower alone. I'd no, rather I know, do it, yeah. but imagine if you could actually see it on the big screen. I would, I would be doing that for days. Oh, yeah, that's a wild fucking thing. Yeah. I would never do that. That's very toxic. Repeating no, I know, but I do it naturally, too. I talk to him. Like, if we... Yeah, had, you, have, you go down the rabbit hole, you're like... No, I, I, have, have, said this to me. I have comebacks. He I'm him, me. I'm me. Yeah. I'm, I'm the, I'm the, I'm and like, you're thinking of, like, what are you going to say when you say this? Because when that happens... Like if this happens next time, I'll be ready. Sometimes I'll go in the show and be like, or who are you talking to? I'm like, no, I'm in the middle of our fight right now. <laughs> so you're just some. <laughs> Something's a little off, yeah. But normal besides that. Yeah, I have sometimes uh, self-dialogue like that, and I'll have a little back and forth. I have but a dumb question. And yeah. this was a question I posed while you were out of the room earlier, and I was just ranting about something. What's worse, to be a pedophile or a neo-Nazi? Because oh. I was thinking about this. Like, okay, why'd you, morally, morally. Why'd you do the hand oh, uh, accidentally? Morally, <laughs> it's not an accident. Trust me. It's not an accident. Uh-oh. Uh, it's morally. good to be Jewish. I yes. could do it, yeah, right? Yeah, so can I. Okay, yeah. We I can have do a it. Hitler pinata in the other room. Okay. Like, uh, I would like to hit it. It's, it's a good, like, I should really start selling those things. Uh, I had yeah, a Mexican lady make me Hitler pinata once okay. just to see if she would, and she did. I was like, You wow. should sell that. Every bar mitzvah bar. Kind of hard. Kind of hard to be the guy that sells Hitler pinatas. I don't think they teach uh, in Mexico about like what happened during they, the Holocaust. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> they don't. Because like, I emailed, when I go first, <laughs> dude, when I got this Hitler pinata, I needed it. So I do this adult sleepaway camp where I used to, and I was throwing a party during the camp where it was going to be Kirill's uh, open bar mitzvah, okay. and uh, I needed an activity during it to just you know everything we do is crazy. So I said, wow, it would be awesome to have a Hitler pinata, but how the fuck am I going to find one? Right. Found a Mexican lady. How'd you find her? I just, Coop. some custom pinatas, some shitty website. And she wrote back. She's like, okay, can you send me images of your friend? Because I was like, I need a pinata of my uh, friend for his of birthday. Your friend, We're okay. I sent her photos of Hitler and she's like, okay, got it. And then like three <laughs> days later, Three days later, I got nervous because I'm like, dude, what if she's not going to make it? She acknowledged it. But, you know, right. let me follow up. And I followed up with her. And I was like, hey, I'm just making sure that you're making my friends thing. And I just need to make sure that his right arm is up and that he has the <laughs> full uniform. This is a Borat sketch, literally. literally. And this she goes, like no, 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 don't worry. I'm going to make it look just like your friend. <laughs> just like your so friend. So she had no idea she was making Adolf Hitler, even though I sent her. Like this stock is photos so of funny. That's I'll what I'm saying. The they don't thing. teach Mexicans about. Would you rather be okay sticky or itchy your whole life? Sticky. Why? Because itchy, I I hate feeling itchy. But what? Because you're gonna be stuck like, to everything. That's okay. You know, when your, your hands, fingers get stuck, when you eat an orange and then your fingers you, get. Who like, would have someone help me? Itchy, because itchy's pain. Itchy's like, oh my god, I'm in pain. Make this stop. Sticky, you can kind of deal with sticky. Or like just. Yeah, sticky would be it would be annoying. No. Would you would you rather be known as the kid who itches or the kid that's sticky though? Sticky, be, sticky. No one wants to hang out with sticky. But who wants, wants to hang itchy? out with itchy? I don't you mind got itchy. Dry skin no, coming no, no, on because, to all because of you. Because itchy, I can mentally fight, and you might not know. But sticky, you're gonna know. But see, I'm not good at like hiding things. Yeah, I ain't fighting that. Like, I, my whole if life. I'm itchy, for your whole life, if you I'm can't fight my whole life, itchy. 
Yeah, but if it's your whole life, you get used to it, I, right? If my socks are socks are uncomfortable, my whole day is ruined. I got to get those things off my feet. Oh, I, I understand that, but you'll. But I don't know that your sock is uncomfortable. Yeah, but to you, you, so you get, seem like you have a good mindset. You can control it. I'm someone who can't. Like if I feel nauseous, if I have a headache, if I'm itchy, I'm telling you. Right, but, I'm telling but, you, I'm so but uncomfortable. But itchy is just a you problem. Sticky is a you and me problem. Well, then I I, I like to hang out with a sticky nah, bitch. I'm, inclu- <laughs> I'm I will hang out with an itchy bitch. I'm including everybody in my problem. Everyone's being be in my problem now. Right, so you're gonna be sticky. I'm sticking the fuck out of. Everybody. I'm itchy. No. I'd rather be itchy. I literally just started getting Never. itchy thinking about it. And yeah. I was like, do I was imagine thinking? being getting sticky just thinking about it? Yeah, you, you know, what, you touch you. But like I would have. Here's thing. Sometimes I'm kind of gross. I like like I would I would have fun with it. I think I'd be like, oh. <laughs> I love that she goes. I'm like you. I'm kind of gross. <laughs> Just because I want to suck my own dick does not make me disgusting. It's something about Jewish humor. You guys are all nasty. <laughs> we are disgusting because we're inbred. Like we're all we're Jews. We don't get like I don't know Jews. We don't get grossed out by things. My boyfriend, who's a goyim, gets grossed out by things a lot. Yeah, white people are like he's he white. gets grossed out all the time. He's like embarrassed, grossed yeah, but out. You're white too. Just because no, you're no, Jewish no, no, doesn't no, mean no. you're not white. Like, like that. There's a difference between like Wonder Bread white and like Jew white. Yeah. Yeah, like we're more gross and self deprecating and silly. You guys and are Jews. Nude. Jews you guys are, are whites with senses of humor. You guys are khaki. Anything offend you? <laughs> Does anything offend me? No. I mean, I guess if my mom says I look fat, that yeah, offends me. Yeah, but that's me. just her job. But no, I, nothing really offends me. What is something I'm pretty open minded. What is this something a guy could do to kind of like really be like, oh my God, he's so mean? He's so mean? Yeah. Well, my favorite thing I've ever been in, which was really mean, I went to this guy's house. Uh, he was someone I always like just hooked up with. I knew there was going to be nothing more. Like I really actually knew that because I feel like sometimes I've said that in the past. Yeah, it's just a hand job. That's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. On. I said that in the past, but this time I really knew this guy was nothing. I go to his house. I think we had sex and I knew I wanted to like have sex again. So I stayed and I think he wanted me to stay. And then he, I go, I'm really hungry. He goes, me too. I'm thinking, oh, well, we'll like order food. The next thing I know, he just starts making food eats it and then doesn't offer me any food really <laughs> post not clarity is a wild Wait, thing he, <laughs> made, he made himself food and never said hey you want some food no i get and he that. just started eating and i was like what did you say i get that it was bad i get why a guy does that i'm not saying i would do that i mean but clearly that's... i mean yeah I, I knew the situation but i didn't know the situation he really was just like, in it for my crotch yeah, he, he was clarity. really like separate. But he literally separate. Like he completely. It was like a one eighty. No, nah, that's kind of weird because me. He took food out of the freezer. Do you understand when I used to like be single and I fucked a girl, and the minute after we fucked, all I want for her is to evaporate. Right. And she leans over and goes, "Can I charge my phone?" You just go like, "Oh my god." Right. This yeah. This girl needs to go. Right. So when you fucked twice. Yeah, we did. Yeah, the bro. And then You're I don't so know. And then I didn't throw you off the fucking. And then I just was like, window. "Oh, let's." I was like, we're, "I thought we were gonna watch something." He got everything he needed. I didn't even from give you. him a handy. He I was gave, waiting to give him a handy. You gave him a vagina. He doesn't need the handy. <laughs> You're like, "Oh, now the appetizer's coming now." You're like, "I already got the dessert." I think that was the meanest thing that's ever happened. He literally. I mean, maybe guys have said like mean things to me, but he literally just like. I mean, that was it was so strange. I've never had a guy yeah, just that's like weird. That's weird. Eat that's weird energy. And not offer. Not even a cracker. Okay, not even crackers? a cracker, nothing. He's like, you want some crackers? He didn't even oh. offer me a bite. You want some water? And I was so, I was like, like I guess I should just go. And then you just left? And then I just left. So it worked. That's why exactly. he did that. That's but the literally balls why. to do that, I don't know how to do that. Like yeah, I'm not. because you're Jewish. Yeah, you gotta have we have guilt. Yeah. We have shame. I don't want the guilt I anymore. like hospitality. I like making people feel comfortable. Because guess what? If I get laid, I'm like, I don't know so when I'm getting laid again. So even with girls back in the day, you used to still feel guilty? Or no, it sounds like you didn't feel guilty. No, I would I would want them to die, but I wouldn't oh, be a, you, an asshole about it. Like in my head, I'm thinking horrible things. But in person, I'm like, oh, yeah, like charge your phone. Let's eat. Da, da, da. I'd be a nice guy because don't forget in New York as a dude and you look like me sometimes, you're just like, hey, I'd like to make sure I can always get laid. So I'm trying to not leave on a bad note with any girl. Right. Because at 2 a.m., I might get that, hey, text, and hey, if I'm the only nice guy in her life. When I was running around and dating like that, my whole thing wasn't because of that. I was kind of like more spiritual about it. I'm like, yo, what's the point of me burning any bridges or making anybody feel bad? And I'm like, just go on with your life. And I don't want you to think of me with bad energy. I don't want those 
thoughts radiating out of your head. Like if I did something bad. So I'm like, yo, let's just leave on a good note always. You know what I mean? Okay. So you were nice more spiritually? And no, I'm saying for like <laughs> spiritual gain in the sense of like, I didn't need to be mean. I'd just be like, all right, well, cool. See you later. Like, right. Later, homie. You know what I mean? I don't know what the spiritual part is. No, I'm saying, like, I think you I just always, didn't want to feel guilty. I, I yeah. just know it's not even about the guilt. I'm like, oh, why oh would karma, I, karma. Why, I, I have the balls to be like, yo, fuck off. But I just don't want that bad karma to be like, oh, that guy's a dick. Or right, bad ass. karma. Yeah. Right. So spiritual. I was just like, let me just spiritual. do you believe in karma? <laughs> totally. I do. You do? I do. I think I don't know energy it's... comes back around. Yeah. So you think this guy was somewhere once and he didn't get fed? <laughs> you think he went to some girl's yeah, like, house? At what point when you're <laughs> abused by someone, are you just experiencing their karma? Wait, what? Right. You know what I mean? Like if someone's mean to you, maybe they were something happened to them and this is their karma. It's just playing out negatively on you. Remember that movie, Pay It Forward? No. Yeah. I, I didn't. It. it was like a classic movie in the early 2000s. It was a very sad movie. Just think about a kid paying it forward. Like the title, Pay It Forward. Pay It Forward. Pay It Forward. <laughs> but anyway, it was like, uh, no, I didn't pay it forward to a guy. Good. Yeah, I don't believe in you karma. It stopped at you. I wasn't very mean dating. Maybe I should have been a little meaner. No, I feel like you were you were you were very nice to everybody. All yeah. Your victims. Right. I mean, yeah, I didn't really do anything that particularly mean. I mean, one time I think I like told some guy that like someone else, like an old boyfriend, was in the picture when I just wanted to end it with him. But that was pretty much it. Oh, that's not mean. No, yeah, that's that just wasn't communication. That mean. I never like knocked out up for a date. I was pretty nice. You were you were yeah cordial. But I also like stayed on dates that were like, guys were fucking nuts. I just stayed on it because I was like, oh, the story's so funny. And you would just continue and then you would be like, see you later, buddy. Yeah, like did this one guy in New York I went on a date with, he was like clearly like on drugs, like something was off. He was manic or something. And I get to the date and we like sit down and he was like, he was like, I can tell, like literally like within five minutes. And we weren't even like texting sexual before. He's like, I can tell you're probably like really freaky in the bedroom. And I was like, Oh, letting you know, like, I'm not going to fuck you. And he was like, touche. But some guys, they, they, they creep up on that aggression. They want to well, see, they want to test you. Yeah. Well, they also are like, oh, and gingers I heard are wild, right? Like there's some stereotypes that also Yeah, that's come what he with, said. No, because he said yeah. to me, are you looking for a relationship? And I was like, well, I mean, not like at, I'm seeing where things go. He goes, bullshit. I call bullshit. And I was oh, like, you actually hung out with this guy? For like, yeah, half an hour. I told really? you, I didn't Where do you leave. Find these guys? This, yeah. is, this is the guy on Tinder I met. Oh my He's god! You thought that guy's gonna feed you? <laughs> that guy? He was from New York. Who these guys you meet? He was no. Jewish. He had on paper. This guy seemed normal until I, I met the, him. The bullshit part. Yeah, he was like <laughs> bullshit. He's like, you're just like all these other girls. You appear to be a cool girl because you got your hair and you're a comic, but you're like all the other girls. You just want stability. I'm like, yeah, what's wrong with that? They want. Well, the guy's like, oh, I'm looking for chaos. He was. Not, the key was truly like in a manic episode. I this guy, be safe. yes. And the craziest thing I did, I'll never forget. I told my therapist this, and she was like, "Why did you do this?" I kissed him because I thought to myself, "This guy's so nuts. If I he's got to be a good kisser. There's got to be something good out of this." Oh, I thought you kissed him because you didn't Dude, want you him to do something no bad to you. Self preservation, huh? Like this guy could have literally put you in his trunk. <laughs> no, but I that's why she kissed him because she's scared that he was gonna put her in the trunk. No, if he, I didn't. No, the kiss would have been way. Too imagine giving the kiss and then not no, fucking. No, but check this out. But he probably was like, she's probably thinking like, yo, if I don't kiss him, he might do something crazy. No, I didn't he, think that. I literally thought this guy's so nuts. I bet you he's a great kisser. And, and was he, he wasn't. No, he was horrible. Really? No, yeah, he's a Jewish. Boy. He was nuts. <laughs> he was. It was like a lot of tongue. It was like making out with like a. Like a German Shepherd, it was like a lot of tongue. It was manic. No, yeah, that we don't we don't like that. I don't know where he is now. I hope, I hope bad he kissers suck. By the way, that's the worst. If you didn't practice kissing when you're a teenager, like you're an idiot. You yeah. should have spent your time building the foundation. She practiced on family members. <laughs> <laughs> no, my grandpa was just more of a pet. Was it tongue or is it? No, no tongue. We never slipped the tongue. I practiced on my pillow. Really? Oh yeah. I think a parent grandparents less <laughs> creepy than a pillow. So crazy. <laughs> Did you draw a smiley face? Two no, but holes? I pretend it, it? it was my crush. Whatever my crush was, I'd be like, Alec. I would have like a whole role play. You have play. a name for your pillows? Yeah, it was my crush. What Whatever was my crush Bob, was. did you wash Alex? How old I'm trying you? to make out tonight. How old were you when you when you stopped being prude? Like your first kiss? Like make out, like actual tongue? 13, maybe 14. I was a late Oh, you're, kinda, a, you're a late kisser. Dude, I'm from the, dude, I grew up in I the suburbs Virginia, of New late, Jersey. But kissing, I, I grew up in the suburbs of New Jersey. Like, I didn't really do anything. My parents didn't let me do, like, sleepovers. I never, like, hung out at parties until, like, truly late years of high school. So, 
I didn't really, the only girls I would hook up with were like when I get shipped off to the summers in the Poconos. Uh-huh. When my parents would have a summer house and then hopefully you find like some local fucking Marvelous white trash. Mrs. Maisel. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I would just. Some shit at a gas station. Yeah, where we, yeah, essentially. My first kiss, I don't even know if I was a woman. Like a highway, <laughs> like a highway <laughs> troll. Yeah, just, just two trolls walking meeting under a bridge. And you know, it's crazy. Everybody in Pennsylvania, for some reason, they walk around with their like, um, Pajamas, like, yeah, they, like Cookie they, Monster. Yeah, ones? they always have Pennsylvania. Th- yeah, they always yeah, they walk have around these like college Pennsylvania's, pajamas. Pennsylvania is the Kentucky of the Northeast. It's like they always walk around like they're college freshmen with like the fake UGG boots oh, and then the keys around their their neck. Yeah, they're like where are we going? Yeah, they wear like pajamas all day, like, eating fucking fresh cooked bread. They from wear Walmart. like Christmas pajamas in May and beef yeah. jerky. Yeah, yeah. The it's like chips. if all your medical services are done at Walmart, oh you're God. really white trash. If you get your eyes checked. You're getting like your fucking teeth done. You know, there's Walmarts that literally could do all that. Really? There's oh. a there's a dentist in Walmart. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm not in going some there. Walmarts, they are now essentially like town hall. You might as well get your cars fixed over there. You do. Oh. They, Walmart has a. I heard they have an engagement auto. ring. Should I send my boyfriend there? What would you do if your boyfriend got you an engagement ring from Walmart? Your mother <laughs> would be like, "Okay, this is I, the one." I would be like, "You would lose your mind." Ah, uh, yeah. I would. I would be like, I'd be pissed. I don't Why? think that's possible. I guess I'm a little bit of a, you know. I don't know. The, I don't know the right word. Superficial. Superficial. Yeah, I don't want a Walmart. Well, I don't want something gross on me. I, yeah, I don't really want a ring from Walmart. Because then it just shows like, really, this is what I'm worth. I think I just feel like this is ugly. Right. But I don't think I would have that in me. No matter what ring you put on your finger, it's if ugly? you're sticky, <laughs> no one wants to see that ring. I don't know. Sticky. We're going back I'm to the sticky. My, I'm just saying. I'm gonna itchy. Prank, you I'm gonna, gonna prank my girl. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna propose to her, show her the ring, and then we're gonna get someone and be like. Babe, I don't. Where's the ring? No, no, and then no. I'm gonna pr- prank that we lost the ring, and I'll be like, I don't have any more money. I gotta buy you something like regular now. Oh, I was gonna say you should get her <laughs> just a ring see what happens. and not tell her, and accidentally leave like the little Walmart like sticker somewhere underneath it, so she does, she has to like live with that on her own. Oh yeah, the and then, is, she, then she'll see it. she really love you. See, the thing is, my girl, she would really. She's like she's very thin on that those type of topics, and she would really. How, how much do you think you'd have to? Spend? She doesn't have to like she she'll lose. Her she likes mind. nice things. She'll cry. She'll really cry. Yeah, putting is a your Walmart ring. I cry. Russian? No, she's Brazilian. Brazilian. Are Brazilians like Russian girls? There are a lot of similarities, like aggression wise, but then there's also aggression a lot of wise. <laughs> Sometimes you call the cops. You know yeah, how it is. Whatever a knife comes out here and there, it's all right. No, nah, she's good. She just uh, yeah, they're they're similar in some yeah. ways. Yeah. But they're just it's Latino, you know. I feel like Latino girls and Jewish girls are Latino girls are here in terms of like talking loud, and and Jewish girls are here. Yeah, you can hear her talking from a couple of rooms, but away. not that far difference. Yeah, we we both are Jews complain more. Definitely. Jews complain more. Yeah. Yeah. Do you complain a lot as a guy, as a Jewish guy? All the time. You do. My entire life is a series of complaints. Yeah, my boyfriend once was like, "You're so negative." I'm like, "You're dating a Jewish stand-up comedian. Like yeah. what?" What did you expect? And what does he say? Then I don't know. He'll be like, oh. I'm like, yeah. are you seeing the world as I see it? Yeah. Because what are we fucking yeah, he says happy that, he's about? He's like, you're so negative. I'm like, I don't, that's like how I talk. You know what I mean? I'm not like actually upset. It's just how I talk. Does he think you're funny? Yes. Would it fuck up your relationship if he respected what you did, but didn't find you funny? If he respected what I, yes, of course. He actually, when he said he first saw my set stand up, he was like, I was so nervous. Because I just really hope that you were funny. He's like, I saw your stuff online, like your videos, like your sketches. He's like, but I didn't know if you were a good stand up. And he was like, I was so happy. Yeah, because there's nothing worse than being with a girl who thinks she's funny. Yeah. And she's not. Because yeah. you're like, I am now. That's the biggest lie a man tells himself. Yeah. Is like having to laugh at bad jokes to get laid. Yeah, no, he was, he was like, I was so happy. Because he's also not like someone who can like fake laugh. He's pretty like, do you know what I mean? He has to like feel it. Yeah. But yeah, he was like, I was so happy. I was like, that's how I felt when I saw your dick for the first time. I was like, thank God. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's not a peace skin. Okay, yeah. Yo, literally my girl, the same thing. <laughs> Said the same thing. Um, I show my, I get them so invested in me that by the time they see my dick, it's okay. it doesn't matter. It's a peace skin? It's a fucking peace skin. And With she the hair? Tori it's literally was like, you're, like, it sticks out like your face. Like, just adorable. It's adorable. I have an adorable penis. That's cute. Yeah. I've never been someone who's like, I need a big dick. Like, I'm, I'm, I, I've only ever seen one actually micro penis. It's a lot of entitlement for a Jewish woman. What? Why? I need a big dick. <laughs> I feel like, no. Yeah. You guys what, are- what? What do you mean? We have a big vagina? What are you saying? No, I'm saying like, 
You, it's know, too you guys big. know what gets circulated in the community. You know what I mean? What? <laughs> what? It's what not you? not a lot of big Jewish penises. I thought uh, Jews guys were known for big dicks. Really? I've honestly, I've never really hooked up with a lot of Jewish guys. No, even I though I'm th- Jewish. I thought it was doing a stereotypical joke here. I thought the uh, Jewish guys have small penises. I, I, I think they're don't. known for big dicks. Because Charleston White even told you you have a small. I mean, why don't I take fucking some guy from the streets, like fucking like knowledge to be like, oh, that guy knows what Jews what kind have. Of dicks? Yeah, he's not a real. Yeah, what is he a fucking? Studying Jewish penises. Whatever, bad joke. Next. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Jewish chicks are big because uh, we have to take a little bit off the top when we're born. Right. That's exactly. how big you are. That's the problem. You so guys we didn't lose, have to take it guys, off the top. You guys lose ounces. We lose more than ounces. <laughs> you ever had bad hecklers? One time I had. This wasn't a heckler, but in my early days, I would perform at this club called the Grizzly Pair, and it's like a block away from the cellar, and it's where all the people that can't get into the cellar that night. Like the audiences go to the grizzly pair, but they're foreigners. So we lie to them and they're like, the, uh, the grizzly pair is just as good comedians, but it's all just open micers right. basically. Who cares? And, but it's like a shit room. And I had a show there on a Monday at like 10 PM. There was two people in the front and they were like, basically I was like, how do you guys know each other? They're like, we're friends. And they were like in their fifties, but their like hands were like all under their pants. And I, ba- they're like, they're like, we reconnected on LinkedIn. And then I basically was like, are you having an affair? And they're like, yes. They like confessed they were having an affair, but it was only me and them too. In the room? <laughs> yeah. Because the, uh, the, I would have pulled the footage. I'm like, give me this footage. I know, but this was like before anyone all was like clips? filming their sets. I mean, <laughs> uh, and I would have gone fucking viral, right? Yeah, just you alone in a room with two cheaters? They literally were like, they were like, we're having an affair. We reconnected. And then they like looked around the room. They're like, okay, no one else is here. Anyone from LinkedIn? Okay, nice. <laughs> yeah. It's it was crazy. crazy. That Imagine crazy. getting laid off LinkedIn. That's a power move. Uh, yeah. I guess that's the only place now you can brag. Be like, look at my credentials. No, I have but a good old job. people connect there. Like my, not like people in their 50s. My stand-up comedy would just consist of ripping everybody in the crowd. Okay. But the thing is you can't build a special off of that. Well, you can't build a career off that. Yeah. That's the problem. I mean, you kind of can now if you film it. Yeah, if you right. film it, but you can't do a big stage and not have great material in the sense of like having good bits and having a good storyline, right? Yeah. So it's just like that. Crowd my work? humor yeah. is just crowd work. Like I would just nitpick at people and just in their insecurities and just like rip them. So you're a critic. Them. You're just yeah, a critic. I just you're love a critic. to just That's abuse right. people. You're the New York just, Times critic of you're just, comedy. You're, just, you're, yeah. you're like us. You complain. Yeah. Yeah. I like to abuse people and uh, make fun of them. It's my favorite thing. Well, it's easy to look at someone easier. And be like, all right, let me make fun of something on them. Right. Yeah. Versus me being like, oh my God, let me combine this paragraph of words Correct. to be so let me witty think of something that witty, people yeah. like keel over from laughter. Stand up comedy is a rough, rough, rough thing though. Like if you're going to do it, it's just like, it's got to be, it's like it. a gym. You just got to keep going, going, and going, and going until you can get a flow. Yeah. What is your next thing? That you're working on my next thing like i know it's you know with social media it's yeah. almost impossible to be like oh everyone wait until i drop something like you have to produce daily right yeah so what is the next thing that's not just part of the daily routine that you're like working towards i know you said you're gonna you have a, a net, uh, only f-ing special yeah i have an only f-ing special you, i'm not yeah. nude i just want to let people know <laughs> no you're an idiot you need to tell them you're fully Sorry. naked by the end of the set i am so naked <laughs> my toes i've never laughed and had a boner in my life <laughs> oh thank you um yeah that's coming out i'm, I'm starting my only <laughs> page so people want to check that out would you ever ever yeah consider <gasps> a true only <laughs> lifestyle i'm not saying they show make so boobs, much money right not showing boobs you don't have to show butthole my dad but would like, be would so you do mad like a, why how would your dad know I he's probably know. you know he you would think, never give you, you your dad's again? got some only <laughs> like one time like, i saw my dad's porn it was the weirdest thing. What's your dad into? Big blonde fake tits. So we were doing, a, this was during COVID. We were doing a family Zoom with his family. And, you know, like remember Zoom when you could, you could like change the background, you know, it could be on the moon. So, my, okay, my grandma at this point is like 94. We're like me and like four other people are all trying to teach her on the Zoom. Like, grandma, you can change it to the moon. And her head is just full. She's like, I'm on the moon. She's 94. She's like, what? Then my dad's like, we, I want to change my background. I'm a, my dad's like a real New York guy. He's like, oh, I'm going to change my background. He's like, but let me see. I got any photos on my desktop. And my dad has like a really old Dell computer. So you can't like see what the photo is unless you click it. Oh my God. So he goes, let me see. Let me see. He clicks the photo and it's just some girl, big tits, like in a school girl out, school girl out, but big tits, blonde hair. And he downloaded like, the You got to respect video. that. And he goes, whoops. You got to respect your dad is literally 
not giving any fucks, saving porn to the family desktop. <laughs> but more so, I was like, my dad's into blondes. Yeah, what's your mom? A opposite? redhead. Yeah, they look, her, her mom looked very alert. And I was just like, it was so fucking funny. And then he's like, don't tell your mother. <laughs> don't and tell your, your mom mother, like, big blonde titties. Your mom was in there on the Zoom? No, no, it was like in his office. Is it a weird moment to have that with your dad? It's like catching, it's like seeing your dad's dick almost. But my dad is like very inappropriate. My dad's made like, he's, my dad has always made like funny, inappropriate comments. Like one time when my sister before her husband before and before she even had a boyfriend, my dad was like, your sister, she's miserable. He goes, I think she just needs to get laid or something. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa's been kissing her forever. It's no action. <laughs> like, I don't know. My dad's like never been the dad where he's like, you you bring a boy home. Like, I'm going to get a gun. Like, my dad's always like, oh, show off your legs. You got great legs. Tor-. Like, I don't know. I like it's never. Cool, that's a little obviously. bit of a pimp. Yeah, but that's a pimp. No, but a you see, bit. that's the old school. Like he wants uh, her off, He wants her off his fucking taxes. Probably, He's yeah. Like, I'm watching off the payroll. Said, is Tom, you got great legs. Show off your legs is amazing. Show uh. the man your legs. Your insurance is uh. up in two years. But yeah, when I told him about the only, f- I was like, Dad, I'm doing this thing. It's called only. F-. He's like, Whoa, 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 Tori, I I know about only. F-. In my head, I'm like, Why do you know about only? F-? How old is your pops? Like sixty seven, I think. Oh, okay. He's still good. Yeah, He's still young. He's in yeah, the game. The pipes still work. Yeah, no, he's still working. He's still in the game. But yeah, he was like very concerned. I had to be like, no, it's a comedy special. Like, it's right. not, you know, I'm not being new. You wouldn't show but nothing ever. No, but then obviously you hear how much these girls make and then you like, you know what I mean? Dude, these girls come through this house and give me their like accounting. How much? I know girls that are clearing a million a month. A million a month? Yeah. But they work on it the way you work on comedy, right? Right. The same way that a you're a hustling month. clips. And doing all this shit, they how have to do. How do they do this. like change up the? You know, it's always a tit and butt. Like, how do it's they make it artsy? So the, so the money comes in in the DMs. Only f- is great because it uh, allows you to mass DM people, which okay. Instagram doesn't let you. So if you have five hundred thousand only f- followers, yeah, you literally could be like, oh, just woke up thinking of you, sweetie, and it mass DMs everyone, and they pay in the DM. You can charge five dollars to open that photo. Okay. So these girls might make. 10% of their money on the sub. Right. Right. Where like just to get into the OnlyFans, but most of the money comes in the girlfriend experience is they'll pay some like fucking kid in the Philippines will pretend to be her and just milk dudes all day, 24 hours a day. They just message on behalf of her. Wow. They have a, a stock folder like your dad of just nudes. <laughs> And then they're like, oh, this guy wants to see me in a red thong. They'll either tell the girl we need this content or they'll already have it and they'll just send it. Wow. And they're just, it's like a farm to milk these dudes for all their money. Do you think you can make money at fans without being nude? Yes. Yes, my girlfriend has. Not my girlfriend, I have on behalf of her. Okay. Because they're so invested in our relationship. You know, she's got a tight little body. And I'll, on our OnlyFans, I post the shit from the house. But in the DMs, I have sent like butt pics of Este. Like in a thong, you can't even see, it could be anyone else's ass. Like her face isn't in it. Right. But they know it's her. And... Dude, really? A couple oh. racks from a message. Couple racks? Couple G's. Really? Couple thousand bucks. It's died down completely. Like I don't yeah. pay attention to it because like you definitely need to feed the beast. Yeah. And we don't have enough, you know, sexual content here because I do so much other shit. Right. But if you really <laughs> you need to hire a little boy you, from but Philippines. If, you, if someone wants to do only <laughs> to make a lot of money, you just gotta treat it like a nine to five. Yeah. And you could clean up. I just don't think I have it in me to be the new part. I don't. I feel like I have, like, I, I got it. Jewish parents. I get it. You know, my dad's a Jews dentist. like money, though. Million dollars I a month. I do like money. Million dollars a month. Your dad's like, I got to root around in strangers' mouths to make a tenth of this. Exactly. And you're like, I just got to what? Show my butt and then go to the beach with my man? I know. And the thing is, I know, I know I kind of, I could have some, I mean, I got curly hair. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're a look. You are a fetish. I'm a fetish. You're a fetish. You're so already. I was born, I thought I was born to be on TV. Who knew? Maybe I'm born to be a star and only Look at it this that, way. We all sell our bodies. We, we all. Right. What's the difference between. Yeah, Heidi Klum sells it on Sports Illustrated. Tori Piskin can sell it on. You sell it every Tori night Piskin. on stage. <laughs> you sell your body on stage. That's You've sold true. your body at every job you sat at. Yeah, I sold my body to that. I slept with that guy. I didn't even get a bite of a chicken. Frozen chicken from right. him. No you, are, you are an intern in the sex world and you need to be a money maker in the sex world. All right. Most girls are just fucking freelancing. Maybe you could help me set it up when I got to start it. 
When do you have to drop this? Because the whole, sorry, we got diverted to being like, yeah, let's talk about sex. But when is the special drop? So the special, so I'm filming it Monday. They film with other people, but it's only a 10 minute set. So then each episode of this OF, whatever the the comedy channel is called, it drops. I think it will drop like two months from now, my 10 minute set. And you get paid for this? I get paid for this. Awesome. But then getting paid to do it is also starting your only account. Do you know what I mean? They want you to post videos, whatever you want to post on there, basically. Um, they're not encouraging you to post nudes. You know what I mean? Because they're right. trying not to make it like that. Is it a hard um, uphill battle to promote, you think? Will it be, will, do you feel any type of way having to promote only I, you- I mean, yeah, I feel like, I feel like, in well, the money's good. So I'm like, okay, this is nice. But yeah, there is like a stigma against it. Right, you know what I mean? Imagine if Comedy Central came to me and gave me the same offer. I'd feel like, oh my God, this is exciting. They got this new platform. Because the status it comes with. Yeah, well, only com- and, but and, here's the thing, only f- so much money, Comedy Central is dead. Yeah. Only f- yes, it has a bad rap against it, but I think there's more money to be made there. Not through nudes, maybe actually like pitching them like a real idea because they have so much fucking yeah, the money the day, to give. Yeah, they could fund a real project that you want. Right, they have they so much money. You. I was doing the math of like how many comedians they're doing this with. Like, I think they're doing it for the next year, every other month in different cities and how much they're giving each comics. It's got to be like almost $2 million this project I mean, for dude, them. they make that like that. Exactly. They make what? 10%, 20%. How much only take Kyle? 20? They take 20% That's of every lot. transaction. So when people are like, oh my God, bad Bobby made $10 million today on OnlyFans. <laughs> Fans goes, we made two doing nothing. Right. Right. So they have a big. Porn has big, a lot of money. So, well, yeah. Sex sells. It's a, one of those like. Yeah. And like sometimes alty videos on Comedy Central wasn't making the money for people. No. You know well, Comedy I mean? Central might be back with Jon Stewart. Oh, really? Did you hear that? No. So you know how they couldn't find the Daily Show replacement after yeah. Trevor Noah? They were auditioning host after host after host and they couldn't get it right. Like right. they tried everybody, but nothing clicked. Uh, Jon Stewart quit the Apple show because oh. they were going to do he was going to do a whole expose on China. Okay. And Apple's like, yo, 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 pump your brakes. We have too much interest in that world. Like, you can't do this episode. Yeah. So he quit. And then last week they announced he's going to be back on The Daily Show, hosting it every Monday until the election. Oh. So my Comedy Central somewhere found some dough. Found some dough. And he's from ho- only- <laughs> And hopefully he Speaking drags China, that Have fucking- you guys heard the conference yesterday? The what? what? The FBI director that came out. What happened? The actual what? FBI director usually doesn't talk much, but he came out and what had he a say? serious press conference about China. And he was like very concerned. Concerned about what though? Yeah, there's yeah. a new virus? Yeah, well, you're speaking they're, in basically, very- they're saying that there's like <laughs> these hackers, right? And he's saying that we can't, uh, we can't accommodate enough people to fight them off. Meaning like we don't have enough sh- power to fight these hackers off because that's how many there are. And he's scared. And he came out to the public saying that this is a, this is going to become a problem because he's saying that the hackers are coming after our power grids, water supply, all this crazy shit. And he's saying that we don't have the it's a, enough power to defend ourselves. So we're oh, it's like that movie that just came out on Netflix with right. Julia so, Roberts. And he what just came out called? saying that yes, literally yesterday. It just sounds like he's saying there's too many Asians. But he said <laughs> he's like before, be like and it's funny before he's like I let you guys know. I just want to make it clear. I don't hate the Chinese people that live in this country that support this country. I am talking about the Chinese government. And then yeah, but he, don't we all what? spy on each other and at the end of the He's day? He's not saying they're spying. So wait, what He's you- saying that they're going to attack like certain why? things within our Why? Where country. We buy so much shit I don't from know them. Why? why hurt us? So what are they going to get from me? I don't Bro, know. Bro, they're attacking our power grid? Texas doesn't have power half the year. Flint, Michigan doesn't have clean water. What exactly are they doing <laughs> in America? We're on the verge of We're World not- War Three. I mean, would I guess go? I have a would little- Prepare. I no, fight no, I would never fight in a war. Are you kidding me? You wouldn't be a nurse like in those no, World I, War II movies where they're like they meet somebody like. Hey, no, I think I'd be so dead funny. pretty quickly. I can't like I'm not. I can't really cook. Well, they'd be. I can talk. They'd be annoyed with me. I'd be shot That's quick. A, they might make you like run Guantanamo Bay. I'd you could just spy. run uh, torture chambers. Like, all right, send in the annoying yeah, ginger start, girl. I start singing, I'm a Jewy girl. Yeah, yeah. They're like, and I'm okay. going world. The bombs are here. Please get her out of here. <laughs> yeah, she's sticky. Guys, sticky. She she's stinks. itchy. Damn, we we've been going we we've been going at it. Do you have anything you want to plug? Um, yeah, I guess I'm headlining a lot more, so Sick. that's good. Um, you guys can. Well, I'm headlining in Washington D.C. April 14th at the comedy, the D.C. Comedy Loft, and then I think some stuff in the summer. But basically, if you're interested in seeing me headline, you can go to my Instagram. 
And from there, my bio. So my Instagram is just my name, Tori, T-O-R-I-P-I-S-K-I-N. Peaskin. 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 Yeah. Tori, that was, we. it was a pleasure having Dude, you. Dude, you're here. hilarious. Thanks. Yeah. I had yeah. literally so much fun, you're guys. Good you're a good, you're a good it's time. very rare you can like, and I, this once again, I'm coming off as a complete piece of shit guy, but it's very hard to like vibe with a chick sometimes. Really? Or at least like uh, have a good like. Banter. Banter. Like you said, your man finds you funny. Like yeah. uh, we can banter with my girlfriend. She'll be like a third chair with us a lot. Like. You're a good banter. Yeah. Like well, it's easy and not like, uh, 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 and you're like, oh my God, forgot it. Yeah. Yeah. I had a good time. We, that's why we got, we, we're going to have to do like probably an episode two with you where you Dude, come we in. totally love to have you. Yeah. I'd love to come back. Yeah. We should have my girlfriend here. Cause you guys could definitely like, I would probably be like, why aren't you going to get me? Dude, but like, <laughs> you that kind of shit. Yeah. Should. She'll lose it. She'll be great. Tori Piskin. Sure.